Hi, uh, my name is Adriana. I am currently a senior in culinary food science and I'm currently situated in my apartment in Ames, which is about eight minutes away from the campus. So a little background about myself is I'm from Malaysia. I came here to Iowa State in August 2018, fall 2018, um, basically just to uh, pursue my degree and my undergrad studies in Iowa State. So I was just looking around for different majors that I'm interested in and I found out about culinary food science and it was pretty cool. And I realized that not a lot, uh, basically nowhere offered culinary food science and only Iowa State did. Uh, and I just felt like hey this is a pretty cool place to be studying and it had great facilities i had friends here which is awesome so yeah um i kind of knew that i was going to come to the U uh, united states to study and yeah i definitely chose iowa state and i loved it since i came here so i don't remember when i heard about the covid 19 first I think it was a little bit I was hearing from friends and like about this virus that's going on. Uh, I think it start started when my friends in Australia and Japan, we had an online call and they were just telling me how the, like everyone was panic buying. Uh, there's no toilet papers, there's no sanitizer, they couldn't buy anything. And then slowly I heard about it even more. Um, this coronavirus that's like going on and like at first like oh, okay it's just like people are passing away dying from it and then it started to spread um and yeah at first it was in uh china and then now it just grew even more and it's just everywhere right now so uh yeah it's been a really tough thing like it's pretty surprising and surreal that such a thing happened because it's we only know like history like we talk about oh, okay outbreaks happening a pandemic or uh whatsoever and the fact that it's happening right now and i'm in it and everyone in my family and everyone i know is in it is pretty surreal so so far yeah um just like everyone else um i'm stuck at home everyone's on lockdown in a way um kind of social distancing and staying at home most of the time so I think personally, as an international student in Iowa State, um, one thing that really affected me is how I might not be able to go home. Um, a lot of my international friends are heading home now, like they just like straight up bought a ticket home as soon as possible just because we don't ever know if we're gonna be able to fly home if there's a lockdown back in our own country or if that's gonna be a lockdown in the United States and it would really be a um, really bad situation if we were really stuck here and we couldn't go home. And the reason why I am decided not to go home only because like I just thought it's kind of my last year in the US and uh, basically, sorry, last it's kind of like my last year in Iowa State because I'm graduating in December. So, and I have an internship lined up for, uh, in summer and I don't know if it's still going on, but I do need to have an internship to graduate. It's part of my curriculum and I kind of do have some side jobs right now, which I'll talk more later on. Uh, so I just felt like, okay, I think it's better and safer if I were to stay here. But it kind of is sad because I'm looking at all my friends, everyone's going home. I won't be going home. I haven't been back home for quite a while, which I kind of do wish I'm home. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of, that's one direct um, uh, e effect about COVID-19 to me. So far, um, it's kind of sad that um, one more thing is I'm also kind of worried about my family because uh, back in Malaysia, there are cases there too, but there are precautions, which is great. Uh, made by the country same thing here. It's great. At least it's there are precautions being made uh, So yeah, I think that's another thing so I think some one biggest challenge about so far is transitioning to the virtual system 
for all the classes now that so my schedule has always been really hectic it's really bad this semester it's not bad but it's not the greatest i always have like 8 a.m's i have eight three 8 a.m's and two 9 a.m's so i'll always be starting my day really early and i'll always end it really late like 5 or 6 p.m because i'm always having clubs i have meetings i have associations i have club cl uh, meetings um activities and all my senior classes so that has been really a significant lifestyle that I've been doing for this semester. And I remember thinking like, oh my god, it will be so much more awesome. It will be so great if I had a break where I just don't have to care about everything. And now that kind of we're stuck at home, um, everything with the whole transition with COVID-19 to all the classes, is definitely a significant change. I get to sleep in. Uh, I basically have way too much time, way too much free time to do whatever that I've been wanting to do since I was um, since the start of the semester. So that's definitely a big a big change. My lifestyle definitely did change. My ha my routine definitely changed. Uh, and I think because of this. Initially, um, transitioning to the virtual classes, I it was really hard to keep track of my classes, only because like all the professors test their own way of adapting to a virtual course, and everyone has their own way, their uh, new changes in syllabus. So managing everything and like just the transition has been tough, uh, especially since we got like we transitioned to this virtual classes right after spring break which isn't really a good thing because one week you're in spring break you're doing anything you're doing fun stuff you're just chilling not really caring about classes and then it feels like spring break but you have classes which is so confusing and <laughs> that has definitely been a big challenge um basically coming out of the mindset that it's not spring break you're still at home but you still have a lot of work to do uh, I think social distancing, uh, my thought on it is I think that's a pretty good precaution. Uh, yeah, I think what I would say is it does have a long-term effect on me. So far, I'm at home uh, in my apartment. I live with one of my roommates and it's just two of us and once in a while, it would be really boring. Uh, I won't even realize that I'm bored because I'll just be lying down and, like I feel so demotivated to do anything and I just want to go out and yeah social distancing hasn't been really too fun yeah like I do get my time alone which is great but I don't get to go out a lot and meet my friends and do just keep myself busy uh, that has been isn't really fun uh, I think so far now uh, going back to the online learning and virtual classes, I think so far, one thing I would like to add on is that it's really nice that I get to manage everything, but it isn't too fun either. I like I kind of miss going to class, having the physical class, um, and just learning and listening in class to my professor. It's definitely a different different kind of style. Uh, so far, my studies have still been going okay, but I can't say much since it's only been a week. Uh, my family, so I've been trying to call them. So one thing that being so far from my family is I cannot go home. Very often, it's really far. It would be a 24 to 26 hour flight, and that's just way too expensive. It's like a thousand... 400 to a two grand just to go home so we would rely on just video calling through whatsapp call or uh just kind of what whatsoever just like a video uh, online call so i've been keeping in touch with them and the situation in malaysia isn't too great either like um since malaysia is like on a lockdown right now and i'm just glad to hear that they're doing well
and they are able to get the amount of groceries they need the food they need um just like being safe and still being able to do their work at home which is great so yeah that's definitely a good thing to hear so i think in the future what i'm really concerned right now is what's gonna happen like i don't really like the fact that we don't know what's gonna happen we don't know how this covid19 is gonna go when it's gonna end how much more people is gonna get affected by it so that's definitely my concern i don't really like the fact that i don't know if i can get an internship for the summer because i want to graduate in december and i need to get an internship and i don't know how that's gonna affect if I don't get an internship, will I still be able to graduate? Because it's it won't. I don't want to defer because tuition fees really expensive for an international student, and I I don't think my parents can afford a, another semester. So there's that huge concern on financial, uh, how my current standing is gonna be for graduation, and if there's gonna be graduation, I don't know. There's so much uncertainty, so that's really not fun um i think in terms of what i can recommend to people about dealing with this or i don't know like um i think in the future definitely just i think everyone should just stay calm and not panic by because that causes the a bigger problem than what we're already having you know uh i think also not being ignorant about what's happening sure we can like you know you just need to know that gray line like not to panic by but also be precaution enough to stay safe uh basically adhering to like social distancing you washing your hands using sanitizer if you need to don't touch the face being really updated with what's happening is a really good thing too to keep in mind um but other than that that's kind of what i think of so far yeah um so my lifestyle in ever since the the change has been like i said it, ha it has been really different so most of the time I'm at a home, the only time I've been out is either to buy some groceries or just to meet up with some friends to eat at their house or if they come over to my place to eat. Uh, we do try to keep our social um, circle really small with a maximum of about, I guess, no, not 30. <laughs> um, like five to six people in a dinner and i think that's one way to deal with the social distancing and just like not being uh with so many people and that definitely helped remove the loneliness and boredom so yeah just like kind of being in touch with people is definitely really nice uh i think just trying to have fun we play some board game so far the whole week i've been yeah i've only been to my friend's place twice and we have some food kind of just um play some board games just talk a little bit uh and then we will come home and then most of the time i'll be home I'll, i have more time to cook i'll be cooking at home um just trying to use up all my groceries and make use of it uh and then just yeah it's that's most of the time i'm stuck at home uh i got time to play uh play some video games just kind of trying to fit and use up all my free time because there's just way too much free time to not do anything and that's really boring so i would just play some games kind of read a book i've read several books which is great uh, but then I'm running out, so I gotta find some new stuff to do. Other than that, uh, well, yeah, like I said, I most of the time I've been home. Uh, I rarely go out, but if I do, I realize how quiet and how deserted the campus is. It looks kind of just like how spring break or like during break in Iowa State. So 
since Iowa State is a campus town, um, Ames is a campus town, sorry, it's, uh, during, like, spring break, everyone's home, you don't really see a lot of people, there's not a lot of cars, so that's not a lot of people, and I definitely do see that happening every day right now, uh, just if I were to go out, it's definitely just empty, there's not a lot of cars, there's not a lot of traffic, there's not a lot of people, and... It's just, yeah, it's deserted. Like, camp, like, Ames is just missing of a lot of people significantly. And, yeah, you can really see that. And I think one thing I don't like uh, is not being able to dine into all the restaurants and just it in. That's one thing I don't like. Uh, I was craving for some chipotle or some chick-fil-a and i'm like oh chick-fil-a there's refuel of lemonade <laughs> it'd be so great if i could dine in but i couldn't so and so i was at home i don't have a car uh, i don't really want to go out to take the bus uh because i was just being lazy <laughs> and uh so i had to consider taking delivery options and it's just way too expensive like um I remember I was just playing around getting some Chick-fil-A burger, some drinks, and that was like about like 17 bucks, but because of the taxes, the tips, and delivery fee, it went up to 30 bucks, which is crazy. So I'm like, why? It sucks that I have to rely on delivery options that will charge and change the price, which is really not really something I want to do. And just not having that option to go anywhere uh, is really not fun. I don't really like the fact that I have my the like my freedom to roam around stripped off and just look, uh, just kind of just yeah, it's kind of sucky to not be able to dine in. Yeah, so I think that'll be all for this time. Maybe I'll talk more, but yeah. I'll see you guys around.